In 1999, Elliot's life changed forever. Elliot was a very normal child. He loved Pokemon like almost every child at that time. One day, his father gave him his own television to watch Pokemon while he watched the news. However, the TV was very old and it only had 20 channels available. Elliot discovered Channel 21. It was called Caledon Local 21 because it was broadcasted from the town of Caledon, close to Ontario, in Canada. The shows in Caledon Local 21 looked poorly made and they were hard to understand for a little child. There were just three shows that Elliot could remember because they left a mark on his memory even if he tried to forget about them. The first one was called Bobby. It was a show where the characters were simply live-action hands. No puppets or anything, just hands. The second one was called Mr. Bear Cellar. The show featured a guy wearing a bear mascot costume who would get a new visitor into his cellar every day. It was always a kid. He always opened the door and they danced together. The episode ended with them playing hide and seek, with the kids hiding in a closet and Mr. Bear counting. Elliot also remembers a show about a can of soup and a spoon swinging back and forth. The ending showed seven kids sitting around the table, each with a bowl of soup in front of them. They all looked confused and scared. The cameraman said, Spoons ready? And then it just stopped. Elliot hadn't watched Channel 21 for a while until that summer night. It was the strangest episode ever. There was a kid talking to Mr. Bear and saying how it was late and his sister had to go home. Mr. Bear said he didn't care. The kid began climbing up the stairs and saying he was going to call the police, so Mr. Bear started running towards him. The camera then cut off. The Bobby Show was the last episode Elliot watched on TV. It showed Bobby in another hand. This hand was smaller and was jerking around violently, as if someone was forcing the hand. Suddenly Bobby grabbed a pair of scissors and started cutting those little fingers. Elliot turned the TV off. It was the most horrible thing he had ever seen. One day he decided to write Mr. Bear a little to visit his cellar. Mr. Bear sent him a very polite response and gave him his address. Elliot's dad took him to Mr. Bear's house, but when they arrived at the front door, they were surprised to see a police officer emerge from the doorway. It seems Mr. Bear and Bobby were the same person. He kidnapped kids and then held them in his cellar before killing them. The police couldn't catch the murderer, but Elliot had been lucky. After that, he started an investigation on his own about Caledon Local 21 that ran from October 1997 to August 1999. In 2011, Elliot started writing a blog about his experience. One day, he received an email from Mr. Bear apologizing because they couldn't have met when the kid went to visit. However, he promised him they would be able to meet each other soon. Elliot kept investigating and watching the videos the police showed him. All of them were horrible. The last video he could watch was the children's final destination. The episode took place in a forest and the camera was aiming at a campfire, but the fire came out of a large hall and something was moving inside. Elliot couldn't believe his eyes. Elliot's final blog post was in June 2015. He said his email had been flooded with messages from people fooling him, but he was about to find the truth. We haven't heard about Elliot since then. His followers are still waiting for some news about him. If you like this Draw My Life about the creepy past in 1999, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you are Elliot, tell us in the comment section down below what really happened to you. See you on the next video!